Okay, Pac Man is back with 11.7 page two. Um, explain how you estimated the volume of the shipping boxes. What did we do? We estimated the volume by using cram boxes, right? So we filled them with cram boxes. Uh, metaphorically speaking, we filled them with cram boxes. All right, and <clears throat> the estimated volume was the total number of cram boxes. Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing here, as you can see down here, is we're gonna actually extend this out to actually have real legitimate uh, units of length, okay? So if you had to estimate to the nearest whole unit to find the volume of a shipping box, how might you be able to ship a greater number of crayon boxes in the shipping box than you actually estimated? So this is just a fancy way of saying, how could I squeeze in more, <laughs> all right? So if I estimated this and I wanted to see how if I could put it in my, we've all probably done this, right? With a box of something, we're trying to shove things in there. We stack it all in here nice and neat, right? And then we have like this little gap on the end. What could I do with my cram boxes? So I've been laying them in. We'll use these as cram boxes, right? Like this, right? And then I lay another set of those and then I'm gonna have this little gap around the edges. So what could I do, right? I could just go, well, it won't fit this way or this way, right? But what could I do, right? Turn it this way and lay it in a different direction, right? I could use the gaps and lay boxes in a different direction. So, ooh. so I could fill the gaps, if there are any, by putting boxes in. at different angles, okay? That makes sense. I think we've all kind of done that a little bit. Okay, so now here's where we're gonna start getting serious about making these estimates, and you're gonna to have to do some multiplying of some a uh, little bit bigger numbers, but I think it's gonna be okay. So we've got these cram boxes, and now it's actually got a dimension of inches, right? So four inches, three inches, one inch, you can even put a little inch here, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the volume of this one cram box, figure out how many cram boxes there are in here, multiply this volume by the number of cram boxes, and that's our estimate. It's easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna multiply, I'm gonna basically take two volumes, the volume of this and the volume of that, but the volume of this is in cram boxes, so it's a number of boxes. Okay, and I'll show that in a second. So um, the high, the, we got four by one by three here. So my volume of a single cram box is length times width times height, right? Which is four times three times one. And four times three, of course that is 12 times one equals 12 inches cubed, right? You know, I like to do it that way. They're gonna say 12 cubic inches, okay? And so if I could only fit one cram box in the box, my estimate would be 12. If I could fit two, it would be 24. If I could fit four, it would be 48, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's how I estimate. I go, well, if this is 12 and I can fit five of these in here, then it's about 60 because I fit five of them in there. I'm repeatedly adding a volume of 12. Every cram box is a volume of 12. 12, 12, 12, 12, and one. I repeatedly add the same number. What operation is that? Of course, it's multiplication, right? So the box to the right holds uh, cram boxes in each of blank layers or this many cram boxes. So I've done a little thing down here. I'm gonna, I'll fill this in, but you know me, I like to take a little shortcut here. I'm gonna go two times two times five. Two times two times five, which is two times two is four, and four times five is 20. So I'm gonna have 20 boxes. Um, if you look at the layers, it's one, two, three, four, right? That's two times two. That makes sense, right? So I've got four cram boxes in each of how many layers? One, two, three, four, five. Five layers, which is, of course, 20 cram boxes. Did I get the same number? Yeah, I'm just multiplying those out. So instead of like cubic inches or cubic this, it's cram boxes because they have their own volume. So since I have... 20 cram boxes and they're each 12. 
I can get my estimate by adding 12 20 times or just multiplying 12 times 20. So I take 12 times 20, okay? Love it when I get the zero here, right? What's two times 12? 24, all right? And then I add my zero on the end, 240 inches cubed, right? And then I write 240 down here. So what's the volume of the little box? How many of those boxes can I fit in the big box? Multiply those things together and skadoosh, you've got an estimate. Easy, all right?